Hello everybody, this is Chris. And we're going to touch on uh, Eloquent and just the models that you have to create just to use Eloquent. We'll get more into models later when we create our RESTful controllers and but and uh, when we talk about relationships. So j we'll just get started with you know declaring a model and we're just going to create a new file and we're just going to call it user. So user we're going to capitalize it because now uh, Laravel requires you to capitalize like models and controllers so we're just going to create that and we're going to open some PHP tags here get rid of this trailing stuff we don't need it and pretty much the, cla the models are the same as they were in level 3 with, with a few exceptions so class user extends eloquent if you watch my tutorial for it's just all basic uh, so for the purpose of our little app that we're going to be using uh, well we'll get to that uh, now what we have declared here you know is a model so class mo user extends eloquent now if it's automatically assuming you notice we don't declare a table right now uh, it's because it's automatically going to assume that your table, that the table that you're going to be using, is called users. So it's looking for something. It's going to be looking for a table that's lowercase users, the plural of the actual model name. So lowercase users. That's the table it's going to look for, and it's going to assume it's going to have. It's going to have a table name that is users, and the primary key is going to be ID. Those are two things that that eloquence automatically can assume uh, based on what you have declared here. So if you don't have, if you just have this, it's going to assume that you have a, already have a table set up that is lowercase users, the plural form of the lowercase plural form of the class name. So users. In our case, in our little app, we don't have that. So to tell it to use a different table other than users you, you just tell it you say protected table equals uh, test and now that will allow us to access our little database our little table so let's uh let's comment it out ah sh didn't want to do that. I know. Control Z. Stop. I get out of there. And we'll just comment this out. I hit Control. That. Let's say route. We always have that route. So route. Hit. Function. And now we'll start getting in the eloquent. So we just have we have this basic table we defined I mean uh, model we define what table we're using because we're not using users. So we could say uh, users equals. Now if you see here in our previous tutorial we're using DB table test get. Now now just like in level three, we simply define user, the user class, which is the model user model, and all the records. And to get it to actually, um, we can do this. Barred up is not going to work because it's going to return an empty array. So if we do this, return users. Like so, it will return nothing because I spelled return on retron. <laughs> and I didn't want to do something else because I left out the colon again, like I usually do. But I just got to tweet. And tell me not to 
forget the uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. So there it is in JSON format. No, it's not Albanian. Uh, so there. And we can do everything else. So we can say where, you know, all the methods that we learned, you know, in Fluent, you know, where it says DB table uh, where or DB table order by, you know, who they were guessed. All we have to say now is use that method F as a method of the model. So user where we can say user order by. Uh, you know, if we want to extend it, so where or where. You know, the one thing you have to realize, you have to remember, and I always mess this up. And is unless you're using these two methods, find or all, if you're using any other method, let's say order by, right? You have to declare get. You have to get. If you don't get, it's not going to return anything. It's going to return an error. So you have to get everything. If you're not using find, the find or all method of user, so we say order by L name. Uh, another funny thing: if you're trying to do this, if, if you try to return users, it's not going to do anything. You're going to have to throw it in a loop. So for each, I mean, that's just how eloquent it is. Uh, for each users as you. This is just a save some heartache because I've had heartache using it like that. So for each users as you. Uh, now we can var dump. We can var dump you. Mm, where's that here? You f name. And we're going to order last name by ascending. So ascending. That, that, that should be good. Go back in, do this. Fresh, and there we go. So Abraham Lincoln, Chris Rapier, Dodd, Darth Vader, George Washington. Okay. So, I mean, Eloquent is really easy. It uses all the same methods that you just learned in Fluent, and it shortens it. And you, all you're returning is the user class. So user, model, or class rather, because these are all these classes. So the user class, and you're ordering it by last name ascending, and you're getting it. Okay. So if you could, if you understood Fluent, everything that applies to Fluent applies to Eloquent. So let's go ahead and finish up this app here and change things around. It says uncomment everything and let's do it the eloquent way. So get rid of this. Oh damn it. We can control Z and so First off, let's get rid of this. Say DB table, we're going to say user. Um, all. Okay. And let's see if that works. So now we return. And there, see? It's the same way. And we can mix and match. We can just use that. So that's already returning that. What did I open here? Oh, more simple blog one. Uh, so there. We did that. We can take. We can actually take these 
and supposedly, from what I've seen and heard, is we can take these and throw these actually now in the model. So if I take this and cut this out, and throw it in here like so, say public static, paste that in there, rules array, and we should be able to do the same thing with uh, with messages also. Let's see, you know everything that's doing with our database, anything with data processing data, we put in here. So public static. Rules and public static messages. Okay. Supposedly now how we validate this now is to have input like so, and we can now say user rules. See, change that to lowercase. I don't know why I always want to uppercase that. So user rules and user messages. Is it message or messages? Who's messages? Control S and let's see if this works. So add new user and add user and there we go. So we've effectively moved our rules and messages into the model itself. Pretty cool, huh? So you know we took we're already cleaning this up by throwing a lot of stuff into the model. So that takes care of this. Let's go ahead and do this, handle this part. So to actually use eloquent for this, we're gonna say we're gonna say user equals new user. Right? And then we're gonna say user f name, which is this is all the same as it was in level three. So user f name equals um, input f name. You can also throw this into an array if you so choose. Um, and user L name equals input L name. And then we simply say user save. I don't want to get one of these. Okay, so user equals new user. User up name equals input, the first name, input, that. Now, this can stay the same. And so let's test this out. So, say John Doe. Add user. And we already got a mess. Hinge. Okay, it wants us to, it's going to assume we're doing an update that and create it if we're entering in there. So we need to go ahead and turn that stuff off. And the way we do that is we go simply go in back into the model. And we'll say public timestamps equals false. So we're not going to use timestamps at all. So public timestamps is false. And go back out, add the user, and there we go.
So you see, Eloquent is really no diff is really basically like using your models here. Uh, you can use the same methods that you use in Fluent, and it's just really you know it's really a cleaner way to. Uh, It's actually it's just easier for me to use Eloquent. Uh, if you're not comfortable with Eloquent, you can feel free to use Fluent. And if you're really not, you, if you're not comfortable using Fluent, then you can use um, you can use the Laurel queries. So I hope this gave you an idea of how to use Eloquent. Um, I know we didn't go over a lot because we went over most of it when we learned Fluent. And you can use what you learned in Fluent on eloquent so the next tutorial we're going to do some we're going to start with restful controllers and we're going to design a whole new application and it's just going to be like a like a tweet like a twitter kind of thing and uh, I'll show you in the next tutorial and um, so and we'll get into relationships also so stay tuned for that tutorial and thank you for watching.